एवरीवन माय नेम इज छवि अगेन एंड टुडे आई एम हियर टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू हाउ यू कैन एनरोल अ विंडोज 10 मशीन इनटू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एजियर एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी एंड आल्सो एनरोल इट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंडियन नो गाइस अ फ्यू थिंग्स टू बी अवेयर ऑफ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड विद द एनरोलमेंट First of all, if you can observe on the screen, I am here on my Azure Active Directory. The very first thing which you need to be aware of is, uh, as usual, make sure whichever user you are going to use for the enrollment, they should have the Microsoft Intune license, right? This is definitely required for Microsoft Intune. So. my user already have the enterprise mobility and security license here so and microsoft intune is already included in it so the user have the intune license apart from that guys make sure that your users are also allowed to enroll the device right in azure ad and also your intune automatic enrollment should be enabled observe here under azure ad under mobility and uh, mdm and mam i have enabled all the users so i have not filtered out any users so i have just enabled all of them to be able to use microsoft intune for mdm also and for microsoft uh, sorry mobile application management as well apart from that i have enabled all of them for automatic enrollment as well you can also configure the same setting from the endpoint manager as well right here in the microsoft endpoint manager admin center you can go to devices we can go to enroll devices and under windows enrollment make sure that uh, you configure this either from here or from the azure ad portal one last thing guys if you are using a custom domain name just like i am using here in azure ad as you can observe my custom domain is chavike.co so of course make sure that you have configured appropriate dns records for uh, azure ad registration and intune enrollment right and there are two records which needs to be configured and uh, you can see my other video for that there is a video on youtube again in this channel only for configuration of dns for intune as well you can go out and check that video i just want you to uh, observe here again under the windows enrollment in microsoft intune portal under cnm validation i just want you to observe that i have already done the dns configuration this is also of course only required if it's a custom domain name if you are using the default dot on microsoft domain name of course this is not required now guys i am going to go to the machine so guys uh, for the enrollment i have deployed a virtual machine here right in azure how to deploy a virtual machine again i uh, request you to go and see my other video uh, the one with the sql server of course the steps stay same for enrollment uh, for creation of a windows 10 machine as well so here guys uh, i have this client to machine created i am going to access uh, this machine the private ip address of this machine is 10.0.0.8 and uh, before i do that i just want you to observe that i do not have any other machine with the name of client2 registered in my azure ad or even enrolled in microsoft intune right i don't have any machine with the name of uh, client2 so let me go to this uh, machine here and on this machine i am going to access the client2 machine whose ip was 10.0.0.8 let's connect to this machine and let's enroll it into intune let's click on yes here and
that's it guys i'm in the machine now let me click on the start menu here and we will go to the settings icon and in the settings menu let's go to accounts and under accounts i will go to access work or school and then i will click on connect and let me use the alex's account before that let's click on join this device to azure active directory and then we will log in using alex's name that is the email id or the username of alex and let me type in the password for this account and let's click on sign in it should not take more than two to three seconds for the device to get enrolled in azure active directory and also enrolled in intune So guys make sure that your users are allowed to do this of course for a large IT organization you may want to go with some automated uh, technique instead of doing it manually anyways for now this is done and I am going to disconnect the machine and connect it again via using Alex's account this time so I will again connect to the same uh, machine here 10.0.0.8 but uh, this time I will connect using Alex's account. Guys for any Windows 10 machine deployed on Azure and if you want to log in into that machine using Azure AD account make sure you follow this kind of syntax. Right, Azure AD slash Alex at the rate and then the username and let's type in the password for this account and let's click on OK. And guys, as you can observe, I am getting logged in using Alex's account. Until the time Alex gets logged in into the account let's go to the azure ad portal here and let me refresh the screen and we can observe that line 2 machine got registered under the name of alex the mdm authority is microsoft intune here and uh, apart from that we should also be able to visualize the device in Microsoft Endpoint Admin Center or in Microsoft Intune. It's still not there but let's wait for two more minutes maybe. It should not take more than a few seconds for the device to be visible here. Anyways guys but just to uh, observe here my user is already logged in and we can check here by running this powershell command that we are logged in with azure ad alex's account let's go back to the microsoft intune portal and try to refresh the page and let me refresh the portal here because the device is not yet here Let's wait a minute. Alright guys, so uh, seems like it did took some time but uh, my device is now visible in Microsoft in Dune. Right? That's it. And uh, now that's it. You can see the properties of the device or any other remote operations if you want to perform. We can do that. Right? That's it guys. If you have any questions, you are requested to post them in the comment section. Thank you.